Well, who do we have here? I don't recognize you. Looks to me like you're a vagrant. And vagrancy, that's illegal. If you can't give me a good reason why you're here, you will be recruited. Recruited? For what? By order of the Inquisitor, all men and women are to gather in the town and remain there. Anyone caught outside the walls of the town is to be locked up immediately. And all prisoners are to be trained as recruits for service in the name of the Inquisition. Couldn't I pay a fine? Some gold to be paid to the guard. A guard of the Inquisition cannot be bribed. Of course not. Cannot be bribed. All right, calm down. I'm here on the Don's business. I know the Don's men. Everyone does. And you're not one of them. I haven't been here long. Which makes you a vagrant. And vagrancy is illegal. Very well then, take me to your leader. That's Master Pallas to you. Another recruit. The guards brought you here because you transgressed the law. Am I correct? It's a mistake. Let me explain. Silence. I will not listen to this. So I'm a criminal. What happens to me now? By order of the Inquisitor, all criminals are to be conscripted into the Order as warriors. You will complete basic training using the staff. Then you shall learn combat magic. If you are talented at magic, we will teach you powerful combat spells. This will give you a path away from crime. You will gain your rewards through diligence and hard work. Now go. Caleb will robe you and explain further what will happen. What is your role here? You haven't said. Apart from answering questions from people like you, I am the administrator of the monastery. That keeps me more than busy. Could I help you with that? No. You concentrate on your training and your tests. Tests? What tests? Every master will test you. That is how you will proceed through the ranks here. You must listen well and study hard. That is what we expect from you. What does it mean to be a warrior of the Order? You start off as just one of many recruits. Few have the ability to become full warriors. But even recruits have their uses. What does a warrior of the Order do? The warriors defend the Holy Flame. They are the arm that delivers the word and fights for humanity. Their skill at fighting with staffs and their powerful combat magic is a fierce combination. But few are good enough to get that far. First, you should focus on basic training. What can I expect in basic training? As you'd expect, you learn attack and defense using the staff. Lessons taken with the masters come later. Do you have a test for me? Leave me and perform other tasks. Now who could teach me to pick locks? Hey, you need something? Master Palace says you have a robe for me. Oh, he did, did he? Well, you can have your robe after you've earned it. Sweep the entrance hall. All the entrance hall. Right. Do you have a broom? <laughs> nah, I'm only joking with you. You were actually going to do it too, weren't you? Look, here's your robe. Put it on before someone less honest than me takes you for a ride. There we go. See, robes suit everyone. We all look equally daft. Oh, and here's a map of the monastery. Take care of it. You don't want to be looking daft and lost. You're looking remarkably relaxed. You didn't volunteer, did you? 
No, the guards brought me here. It's no different for most of us. The Inquisition is the power here, what with the garrison away. No one's heard from the mainland in weeks. If you're lucky, you'll stay in the monastery after basic training and they won't send you outside. And if I'm unlucky? Then you'll get sent to the temple ruins and some weird beastie will eat you, robes and all. How do I get out of the monastery? <laughs> That's exactly what I asked when they forced me in here. But don't worry, someday they'll open the gate. Someday? Master Ignatius tells Pallas who can use the gate. But he's a pawn for the Inquisition like the rest of us. So, get comfortable. Have a look around at your own pace before you're packed off to the ruins. Who is Master Ignatius? Huh, <laughs> not certainly a question and a half. For now, all you need to know is that if Master Ignatius says the gate gets opened, then the gate gets opened. If he says it's shut, it's shut. So he's the boss? You got it. Well, he was the boss, until the Inquisitor came. And believe me, the Inquisitor doesn't care about us recruits. Where can I get some sleep? I had better show you. Okay, so where do I sleep? Let me show you. This text is about magic spells. Keep with me. Let's go. Ah, I see we have a new little lawbreaker in our midst. Lawbreaker? Well, no matter what you've done in the past, you'll get a clean slate here. At least for now. Grab a staff, get back here sharpish. We'll soon have you bruised and battered like the rest. Who are you? I'm Master Eric. I know what you're thinking. I seem like a nice guy, a decent chap. So before you think about testing me or disobeying my orders, Consider how much you value your liver. Why do I need a staff? Because everyone learns how to fight here. The staff is a noble weapon, in the right hands as deadly as any blade. Although it pays to have a good blade handy too. And I think it's wise to see just how much training you're going to need. No sense in your dying too quick. Where's your staff? You're observant, I like that. I've done my training, now it's up to you to do yours. Besides, if I need to, I can take a staff off any of these lot without breaking a sweat. Where do I get a staff? Look around the monastery, lad. Use those eyes of yours. I'll be right back, Eric. Don't forget the master part. Believe me, you don't want to know what it took to earn that title. Whatever you say. Ah, you'll soon learn the ropes. And if you don't, I'll soon knock you into shape. Well, if it isn't babyface, come to play with the adults, have you? I warn you, our grown-up games get rough. Take that pretty face somewhere else. This is the training courtyard. You'll be seeing plenty of this. It's where your basic training will take place. How long does basic training take? Until Master Arik says you're done. Then Master Vitus will continue your training. Come on, I'll show you some more. You'll share a chamber with Hemlar. I'll show you where it is. I don't think we've met. My name's William. Are you a volunteer? Not really. Well, volunteer or conscript won't make a difference when we're in a fight. Hey. Do you have a staff for me? I don't, but our smith will kick you out. Your mother, Tilda, has been asking for you. My mother? I hope she's all right. Yes, she's in Harbour Town. Good. That's where she should be. Thanks for letting me know. I take it you volunteered. Yes. There's something here worth fighting for. My parents had a farm on the island until those 
temples burst out of the ground. Now they have nothing. If it hadn't been for the warriors here, my parents would have lost their lives to those creatures. Instead, they're in Harbor Town. I swore to do anything I could against those creatures. Follow me. You are the newcomer. I'm new here. This recruit has been murdered. What do you know of this? I heard you're short of new recruits. You'll have even fewer if this is how you greet them. I am not accusing you. Your recent arrival means you have two qualities I need. You could not have committed this crime. And you need to prove yourself here. You can start by discovering who was responsible for this. Why do you want me to investigate this? You think you're not up to the task? How do you know I am? Your manner and appearance. You aren't from this island, which makes your presence illegal. It also means you are a survivor. I'm surrounded by books and bookworms. I need survivors. I don't know what happened here. I don't even know any of the people here. Then you shall be objective. Examine cold facts, for instance. This man was stabbed in the back, and there is no sign of magic, which is why there is no reason for me to give personal attention to this case. If you want me to investigate, where should I start? Master Vitus will aid you. I have more important things to consider. But I must know if this was a petty crime or something more. Come to me when you have answers. This is your chamber. Well, uh, nobody could know that would happen to Hemla. Terrible business. Well, you'll cope. Uh, and now I have to... Uh... Looking for something. Hey, new, huh? I'm Casper. If you need something around here, I'm your man. For a price, of course. Can't help you, I'm afraid. Try someplace else. You thieving rat! I'll kill you!
Ask someone else. You can't hide forever! I'll have to pick this, or find the key. Well recruit. I have come to be tested. Enlightenment is found in many places. Seek trust and wisdom in combat. Hemlar has been murdered. Yes, news spreads quickly here. Soon the whole monastery will know about it. But of course, everyone claims to have neither seen nor heard a thing. And that makes my search for the killer all the harder. You have been appointed investigator. I wish you success. Right. You mean I should fight? Unraveling the meaning of my words is the first part of your test. Where can I find the other masters? I will tell you that when the time comes. First, finish your basic training. Only then will you meet them. About Hemlar. Any suggestions where I should start? Perhaps where Hemlar was found. The novice Casper is responsible for the chambers. He also trades with many of the recruits. And he must see a lot of what happens here. Talk to him. Tell him I have assigned him to help you. When did the murder happen? It appears Hemlar was killed at the time you arrived. Since then, no one has left the monastery. Therefore, we must assume... That the killer is still here. There are those who pointed their finger at you. You'll need to be certain before you point your finger at anyone else. Why was Hemlar murdered? That is a good question. Once you know the answer to why he was killed, you should find it much easier to discover who killed him. Do you trade with recruits? I do business with anyone who's got gold. I ain't fussy, but no weed and no weapons because I ain't stupid either. Anything else I can get you. Show me what you've got. I'm on an assignment from the Inquisitor. Really? What's the old man got you doing? I'm supposed to find Hemlar's killer. Ha <laughs> ha! Rather you than me. It's both of us, actually. Master Vitus said you're to help me. What? You're joking, ain't you? Afraid not. 
Oh, that's all I need. Okay, let's get this thing wrapped up quickly. I don't want to get on the Inquisitor's bad side. What do you know about Hemler? Ex-con, shifty type, scuttled around. Quiet too. You never knew what he was thinking. Shifty and quiet isn't going to get us far. What about clues? Have you searched his room? I searched the room and Hemla's body. Did you find anything? I found some food. Was Hemla poisoned? No, so I doubt that's of any importance. You might as well keep it. I found a small amount of gold. Hemlar always came across as having a fair amount of gold. Maybe he spent it. Or someone took it. And left the rest to cover his tracks. Maybe. You might as well keep what you found. Should be some reward for your work, eh? I found a knife in Hemlar's room. Not many blades in this place. There's dry blood on it too. Hey, have you just given me the thing that killed him? I think it is the murder weapon, but why leave it there? Have you seen this knife before? Looks like one of Harlock's kitchen knives. Could be that the blood just came from the kitchens. Or am I being naive? I found some Bruegel weed. Not a surprise. He was dealing the stuff. And you didn't think that was something to tell me straight away? Do you know where he got his supply? He certainly didn't grow it himself. You'd never get away with that in here. Must have got it from outside. Don't know how. Hemlar wasn't allowed to leave the monastery. So, he must have had a supplier on the outside. Or who had permission to leave the monastery. Any idea who was supplying Hemlar? Well, don't look at me. I partake, but that's it. A lot of people smoke. Not much else to do here. The powers that be must know, turn a blind eye. But whoever was supplying Hemlar must have been someone who could leave the monastery. Who does that leave us with? You need to talk to Master Pallas. He's in charge of the gate. Stop there, brother. Are you on guard duty? You can't enter the cemetery. Please go back to your training. Why can't I enter the cemetery? This is where artifacts from the temples are being stored. The Inquisitor doesn't want them touched. Besides, some of them are dangerous. Dangerous? In what way? The artifacts are from the temple ruins. Who knows what ancient magic they contain? For your own safety, you should leave now. Let me through. No, absolutely not. And there's no way I can persuade you? No, absolutely not. Well, uh, unless you've spoken to Harlock. I haven't yet. I've been out here all day with no food. You get me some of his stew, I might turn a blind eye to you walking in there. He is someone who needs the protection of a good weapon. I need a staff. I'll check me stock. Got this. Oak. Good, strong wood. Knock someone's teeth through the back of the skull. It'll serve as well as a blade. Well, most blades, if you train with it. And you don't go hitting the wrong people. What's a smith doing with wooden staffs? Not much call for anything else. Shame, really. Because blades are my speciality. I remember every sword I've ever touched. Doesn't matter if I forged it, repaired it, 
or just sharpened it. I ain't like that Oscar down at the Don's camp, messing around with jewellery. Good solid blade, that's what you need. Do you recognise this knife? Let me see it. Ugh, it's got blood on it. Why are you showing me that? Just take a quick look. Yes, I've sharpened that blade. Certainly didn't have blood on it then. It's one of Harlock's kitchen knives. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Can you teach me how to be a smith? Long as you don't steal my customers. Go on then. Pin your ears back and listen up. What sort of weapons do you have? Injure things, kill things, cause damage to things, that sort of weapon. But nothing's free. But I'll trade if you can't pay with gold. Let's trade. Now who could teach me to pick locks? <laughs> Look, another recruit, right? Me too. Tucker, recruit of the Inquisition, what a joke. The same people who chained me up now expect me to fight for them. You don't think we should fight? Against who? For what? If they're pulling us in for service, then the shit has really hit the fan. It's not like we've been given a choice. No. All we can do is prepare ourselves. One hour of training could mean the difference between life and death. Ah! <laughs> Take that pretty face somewhere else. I need the names of everyone allowed to leave the monastery. Do you? And you need these names, why? I'm investigating Hemlar's murder. I see. Murder is a serious business. However, I hope you aren't neglecting your basic training to carry this out. No, I wouldn't neglect my training. Tell me how far you've got and I will see if I can help. All I need are the names. And all the Order needs is dedicated trained warriors. I make it my personal goal to provide them. And there is no point in investigating if you can't defend yourself. Train and we shall speak again. There's something here about magic. Recruit, eh? Don't look at me. I'm not responsible for you. Go and see Caleb. Now who could teach me to pick locks? I've got a staff. So you have. But do you know what to do with it? Hit things? Simple answer. Difficult skill. Done right, this can turn a human body into an unrecognizable skin sack of broken bones. To start, you need to learn some moves from a few of our fighters. Tucker, William, and Kato. When they're satisfied with your progress, come back and see me. And I'll be keeping a close eye on you. Can you run that by me again? I'm a patient man. I've had to be, but there is a limit to it, and you are in danger of running up against it. 
Got it. Eric. Master Eric. I will have respect, understand? I think that's clear enough, Master. There. That's enough. Are you still looking to test me? Yes. I've just thought of a good test for you. I think I should try you with another kind of stick first. Find yourself a broom and sweep out my chambers. Just get lost, baby face. I'm here because Master Eric sent me to train with you. Did he? Yes, that's why I'm here. Go and see Tucker and William. You can't beat them. No point trying me. Go on. Go and train with them. I'm sure you have other things to do. What? You should get some training. I hope you know how to behave in someone else's house. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm new. I'm in the order like you. Just met you, and you're my friend, eh? You're new. You get stew. Those are the orders. Here's the stew. Do you recognize this blade? Never seen it before in my life. Take a closer look at it. It's not mine. I've never seen it. Now sod off. Carlson knows this knife. So why are you telling me? He knows it's one of yours. Then why did you need to ask me? Your knife is the weapon which killed Hemla, which makes you a suspect. Maybe someone stole it from me. Yeah, maybe someone framed me. Did you think of that? Smart ass. What? You should get some training.
who could teach me to pick locks? Now who could teach me to pick locks? You looking for something? Careful what you touch. You looking for something? What are you doing here? About Hemlar. Hemlar was dealing Bruegelweed. Hmm. What do you think? You're making progress. You've spoken to Casper, I suppose. He's a bright lad. Work with him and report to me once you've found the murderer. I assume you no longer need the corpse for your investigation. I'll take care of it, so that Hemlar may go to his final rest. I'll have to pick this, or find the key. Your chambers are clean. Good. Now maybe you're ready for a stick that doesn't have bristles on the end of it. If you're not, go see Harlot. I'm sure he needs somebody to peel potatoes for him. I'm ready to train. Then get gone and train. supposed to train. Life of glamour this, isn't it? Right, this is what they taught me. To be good with a staff, you have to work on strength and technique. Build up your arms. Whenever you hit, you want to hit it hard. And once you've trained, we'll practice fighting. See if either of us are any good. Are there rules in the arena? Pretty basic ones. The fight starts when we get in there. The fight lasts until someone's on the ground. You don't attack anyone on the ground, and it finishes when someone leaves.
I could do with some fight practice. Yeah, I could do with some. And if you lose, we can fight again. We're all on the same side. Better we all are, better for all of us. Then fight me! Ah! 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 That was good. You're looking good. I've taught you what I know. You should fight William. He'll teach you more about technique. How can I improve my fighting technique? I'm no expert. For me, muscles count the most. There has to be more to it than strength. Like they've trained a recruit up in much else. I'll show you what I know, though. And you can ask William. He's picked up more than I have. You're supposed to train me. You'll do well here if you're stout-hearted. You can get strength training with Tucker, and I'll show you how to fight with a staff. I'm no master, but I know enough to give a good grounding in the basics. When Tucker's satisfied that you're strong enough, come to me to learn about technique. And then, then you have to face Kato. Watch out for Kato. He's the biggest asshole around. Kato's the best fighter. That's Master Arik. Kato's more of an ass. Don't let him muck you around. I need to improve my fighting technique. Not a problem, my friend. I've worked on my strength. I think it's time for us to train. Well, you look like you've been doing your strength training with Tucker. So, yes, I'm ready. So, we fight. That's the next step. Time to end it. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for the lesson. I will learn from this and train more. I've finished training with Tucker and William. Then it's time for a lesson from me, babyface. Let's see if you have the makings of a warrior. Let's fight. Time to fight. Now it's good. Go on. Ah. Yeah. Again. Ah. Go on. What do you think you're playing? You'll be in trouble for that. You're better than I thought you'd be. Next time we fight, we'll be in the arena. Then it'll be different. I'm ready to face you in the arena. Then stop talking and start walking. Will you fight me in the arena or not? Looks like it, doesn't it?
time to fight. Looks like your training's working. Looks like it. So have I passed? You've learned a few things. Is there anyone else for me to face? Or is this over? You're a combat-happy bastard, aren't you? Go and see Eric. He'll sort you out. I'm a bastard. What? You want me to kiss you and tell you you're a good fighter? You're a bastard. Don't bother me. Beating Kato is a big thing. You have come on a long way. I'm glad you did it. He needed taking down a peg. He's not the friendliest man I've met. Carefully doesn't bear a grudge. You think he's the sort? Kato's the sort who always wants revenge, but he won't tangle with you again. He'll leave that to someone stronger. Arik is my bet. What will Master Arik do? The easiest thing would be not to allow you to complete your basic training. But Kato is Arik's friend, so he might even challenge you himself. In which case, I'll have to beat him. Arik's not an easy target. He's affable enough on the face of it, but he's able to take care of himself. What did you do to Kato? Fought him. He said to train. I said to train. I've never seen him look so battered. But a few victories against a few trainees won't make you a proper fighter. No? No. The time has come for you to face me. If you feel like getting some more training, now would be the time. Unless you want to make it easy for me to pull your liver through your nostrils. I'm ready. Are you? Let's hope your fighting is as confident as your tongue. You don't know who you're uh, messing uh. with. It doesn't give me any pleasure to defeat you. Have you seen what's out there? You need training. Don't challenge me again until you're ready. <laughs> 